हेलो टेकीज माय नेम इज़ कृष्णा वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई शेयर आईटी एंड प्रोफेशनल कंटेंट ऑन दिस चैनल एवरी सैटरडे एट 9 पीएम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड स्टे ट्यून्ड विद अस रियली डिलाइटेड टू सी ऑल योर कमेंट्स एंड योर रेस्पॉन्स ऑन द अदर वीडियोस ऑन द रोड मैप फ्रॉम नॉन आई टी टू बिग डेटा प्लीज चेक इन द आई बटन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड मेजर रोल्स इन आई टी एंड अदर वीडियोज एंड प्लीज कॉमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी अदर वीडियो सो टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मेजरली आज इन एनी इंटरव्यू एनी आई टी रिलेटेड इंटरव्यू सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so i will break this video into four parts where uh, i will divide what all questions are asked into four parts and discuss each part separately the first part is about yourself the sex second part is about project and next part is technical and the third part is operation or process related questions that the interviewer may ask about self i have already discussed this video in another video i will put in the i button where you can see tell me about yourself a very very important question in any it interview tell me about yourself because that is the first question that is asked and that actually decides how the next part of the uh, next part of the conversation will happen i uh, uh, any interview is just a conversation is a formal discussion between the interviewer and the interviewee the candidate so basically they want to know if you are best suitable for that particular role so if they start with the first question that tell me about yourself and that yourself question are uh, the question that you ask the points that you bring in that will actually decide the course of the interview so you need to practice tell me about yourself please watch that video and plan your uh, tell me about yourself and if you want how i present how i present uh, a interviewer about my uh skill set and about how i speak uh, about tell me about yourself please comment and i will make one video on how i express myself in front of the interviewer okay so uh, i will put the video link in the description also and in the i button also so please watch that after this video and uh, for freshers please mention your educational background and for experience please mention your years of experience and skill set and the next part the second part of the video will go to the project any it interview the project is very important the client whom you worked for the project you worked for the first point is you should tell about the architecture of the project how the data is flowing the tools used the new knowledge and the skill set that you demonstrated in that particular project how the data is flowing since as mostly i cover etl data warehouse testing bid data testing so how the data is flowing even if you are not from uh, etl or data warehouse background so uh, know how the data flows if you are a data engineer or a data scientist so these questions are really important and if you are a manual tester also how the data flows how uh, particular uh, user interface is working how the front end is working how the data is coming to the back end so those project architecture you have to explain them and the next one is what are the testing practices the testing approach that you take manual automation or whatever type of testing approach is this so how do you write the test cases and how do you document it all those things you have to mention your roles and responsibilities what level of responsibility you are taking in that that in that project is very crucial because you may apply for some role and the roles and responsibilities that you are uh, already working may not align so make sure you align that you know the roles and responsibilities or the role that you are going to apply align with what you are currently working and if not so make sure you develop those skills and then give interviews and then align your words to the role that you are apply, applying for the team size 
you make sure you mention about the team size on uh, how many architects are there how many uh, managers are working with us how many developers are there how many test engineers are there no the developers can be different like bi, BI developers report developers data engineers uh, people who are working in data ingestion some network team or devops engineer so all that the whole team size you should mention about them and give a overview of what are roles how many uh, team members are working in that particular role we'll go to the third part where uh, operation and process related so this is uh, a very important part where uh, uh, no uh, you you should know what is sdlc now please comment the full form of sdlc and sdlc the first question uh, please comment the full form without <laughs> googling okay so um, if you're interested i'll come up on how to answer so uh, these uh, SDLC stands for software development life cycle. So SDLC, there are multiple ways, multiple uh, development life cycle that are there. You know, some are uh, sequential and some are non-sequential. So uh, if you are interested, uh, please comment SDLC. I will make one video on SDLC um, and different uh, development life cycle models. On what SDLC model you are working on, the project, current project which you are working on, and the types of dif different types of testing techniques which you have worked on uh, uh, please discuss uh, so they may ask questions about different testing techniques and you should be thorough in whatever testing techniques you are currently working in okay make sure uh, those two uh, are in, in line because they may ask a lot of things with regards to the project they are hiring for so you should be aware about it and you should be thorough on what you are already working in okay next question is the level of testing then project management tool that you're working on and the jira devops and hplm all these are different project management tools so whichever you are working on please mention that and you should be good at client facing projects so most of the project are mostly client facing where client has a deadline clients has a requirement the requirement change okay so mostly everyone is working in agile model where the you know, requirements keeps changing uh, there are sprint so uh, that is what you have to explain properly meetings the different meetings that you attend daily scrum meeting it can be or day, sprint uh, sprint planning exercises or retrospect exercises there are multiple meetings that you might be attending so make sure you speak about those meetings and you should know they may they may ask questions about this agile model as i discussed just a little bit back agile model what is agile model and if you're working on agile model what kind of agile model you're working what are the different ceremonies you take uh, take part in so all that you should be knowing okay and if you're interested to know what is agile model please comment i will try to make a uh, video on uh, what is agile model and how you can answer that in an interview okay so coming on to the last part which is technical I will cover this part in another video because technical uh, takes a very uh, it is very lengthy part where they may ask any question so for now since as a ETL or data warehouse or big data tester if you want to apply so you have to uh, know a lot of SQL you have to know a lot of Unix commands because big data is everything is in putty so you install putty and connect to any uh, linux server where uh, you only have conversation with putty and writing commands so you should be thorough at unix you should be thorough at uh, sequels and uh, that is the those questions i will discuss what all uh, no technical questions they may ask i will discuss that in one more video please comment testing questions or testing interview questions i will make a video on that the sql and testing approaches the test scenarios the different test scenarios that you will cover while doing this big data testing or retail testing or bi testing what are the different scenarios at least uh, they don't want anything in detail but they want a high level on how you design the test cases if this video added any value even an iota of value and knowledge uh, to you please subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with whomever is interested and please comment on if you want to see uh, any other specific video with regards to your uh, uh, career and uh, uh, to get more inspiring and motivational videos please uh, subscribe to the other channel also and uh, krishna signing off have a good day bye bye see you next saturday